These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it out there. Great match. And it'll be interesting to see the ripple effects this win has in the weeks to come. Welcome back to another episode of WWE Road to WWE 2K23. Today we're facing the Miz as Daniel Bryan. Look at the Miz. He's worked hard. He's charismatic. He's smart. He's Mr. Money in the Bank. And he's the United States champion. Well, Michael, he may not be one of those things if he lands in Daniel Bryan's LaBelle lock. Bryan faced Miz in a submission match on Raw, and he made Miz tap faster than a heavy metal drummer. If that happens tonight, we'll have a new United States champion. Miz was saving himself. Oh, nasty impact. Painful attack focused on the chest. Drop kick. Great athleticism. Between his championship, his briefcase, and his media obligations, Miz is slipping just a little here. He'll bounce back. Just attacking the back. Nailed it. The champion into the cover. Daniel Bryan kicks out easily. Gonna take a lot more than that to keep Daniel Bryan down, Saxton. Wow, that was some reversal by Daniel Bryan. Oh, no, he hit me with a neck breaker. That's not fair. That's not fair. when he called you out after his NXT elimination. Please. Looking for the exclamation point. This might not have been a wise move for him here, Michael. Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Uh, going to the top, high risk. Looking for the finish. He wants no part of this. Incoming. The breakneck speed, what a hurricane. Oh boy, he is rolling. Drop kick. Great athleticism. Daniel Bryan took the Miz's spot at SummerSlam. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Daniel Bryan may only be eight months into his WWE career, but this is a decade-long journey for Bryan that could lead to his first taste of WWE gold here at Night of Champions. It was both incredible. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Got the head scissors up. Oh, 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 man, that's just nasty. That's Point of the elbow, nailed it. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. Big slam. Iron 
Irish whip. Using the elbow as a weapon. The Miz's grasp on the United States Championship is slowly slipping away. No, Miz can't lose here tonight. Not like this. Not today. Daniel Bryan with a slick reversal. Boom! <laughs> I just cannot believe well, what happens. If the Miz comes up short. When this guy's on, look out. Here's the pin title on the line. Here we go. Two. Digging deep for a kick out. Wow. The Miz is doing all he can to damage Daniel Bryan to negate that dangerous LaBelle lock. I don't want to negate more than that. Bryan has submissions we haven't seen for years in WWE. He's making a statement here with this attack. Ooh. Never underestimate The Miz's awesomeness. That's it. The Miz just ended this. Gonna be woozy after that impact. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. Let's finish this. your elbow. The Miz's continued frustrations with Daniel Bryan have manifested in a methodical beating from Mr. Money in the Bank. Well, if The Miz ends this soon, uh, he might be healthy enough to cash in on the winner of the six-pack elimination WWE Championship match later on tonight. And scene. Let's go! Finale. Daniel Bryan getting absolutely punished right now. They cheating again. They go to cheating again. WWE is always cheating. Look at the Miz. He's worked hard. He's charismatic. He's smart. He's Mr. Money in the Bank. And he's the United States champion. Well, Michael, he may not be one of those things if he lands in Daniel Bryan's LaBelle lock. Bryan faced Miz in a submission match on Raw, and he made Miz tap faster than a heavy metal drummer. If that happens tonight, we'll have a new United States champion. Miz was saving himself. Oh, what impact. Drop kick. Great athleticism. Boom, what a kick. Uh. I don't know why anyone's surprised that The Miz and Daniel Bryan's relationship has come to this. The Miz can never keep an ally on his side. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Every person the awesome one has won the tag titles with has ended up hating the Miz. Remember the night after Extreme Rules when the Big Show's KO punch ended Show Miz? Oh, an elbow drop. Uh oh. Harsh impact between his championship, his briefcase, and his media obligations. Miz is slipping just a little here. He'll bounce back. They can't walk after that attack to the back. The two of you brought up Miz's former partnerships, and can I just point out the common element between Brian and the Miz's old tag partners? Just like Brian, they were all jealous of the Miz. Beautiful technique. Look at this. Missile drop kick finds its mark.
He's got him covered. I believe Daniel Bryan has a strong chance of winning tonight. And the guy was trained by Shawn Michaels, who must have taught Bryan a thing or two about high-pressure matches. What has happened to you, Corey? You've turned into another Saxton. Yeah, Ugh. and Daniel Bryan was also trained by The Miz. Quite frankly, Bryan should have listened to The Miz more, and maybe he would have won NXT. Bryan is not playing right now. Elbow drop! Oh, nasty impact. He wants no part of the outside. You know what? I take back what I said about Daniel Bryan potentially winning NXT. Bryan never could have won NXT. He started with a 10-match losing streak. He probably only quit because he would have been eliminated soon anyway. Uh, Michael, all it takes is one win to change your fortune. And Daniel Bryan looks likely to get that win tonight. The majority of the WWE Universe here tonight is trying to will Daniel Bryan back into this matchup. Corey, that's because a lot more people relate to Daniel Bryan than they do The Miz. Relate to Daniel Bryan? How can you relate to a guy who doesn't own a TV or eat meat? Even though Daniel Bryan did not have the best track record as an NXT rookie, I think a win tonight would make Daniel Bryan worthy of being a WWE NXT Pro. Don't you think? If Daniel Bryan ever becomes an NXT Pro, then there's a 1% chance I'll continue doing that show. What kind of weirdo would ever take advice from Daniel Bryan? That would be like a, a young announcer learning from you, Byron. Oh, right to the shoulder. Daniel Bryan looking to attack from high. What a strike, right on the mark. This might be it! Oh my. Well, that'll hinder your modeling career. Victory is on the horizon. All that's left now is for Daniel Bryan to finish this. Oh, the reversal by The Miz. Wow, what a sequence. Yeah, that was amazing. Drop kick. Oh, oh great height. Bryan even has a championship match here tonight. He basically quit NXT, becoming the first person eliminated. He is nothing more than a loser, like you, Saxton. Well, I agree with the end there, Cole, but the elimination may have been a blessing in disguise. While the rest of the NXT performers formed the Nexus, Daniel Bryan stood against their injustices in the main event of SummerSlam. Ring rattling! Remember, the United States Championship has been held by no fewer than a dozen WWE Hall of Famers. Ooh! Devastating elbow! And he's heading back in. We discussed Daniel Bryan's last place finish on NXT back when he was... This is sickening to watch. The ref had no choice but to call the match. Great effort, but he... I'm just get that. That we won. We won. After I defeated The Miz, my WWE career really started to take off. I won the Money in the Bank briefcase and then cashed it in to beat the Big Show for my first World Heavyweight Championship. Can you believe it? Daniel Bryan is the new World Heavyweight Champion! But for every step forward, it seemed like I took two steps back. One was pretty big. When at WrestleMania in 2012, I lost the world title in just 18 seconds. Oh man! A boat kick by Sheamus! Oh my god! Sheamus is the world champion! That may be one of the fastest title changes in the history of WrestleMania! After that, I was angry and wanted to blame a lot of people for my failure.
but it actually led to one of the most enjoyable times of my career. Daniel Bryan's forced to go to anger management with that man. <gasps> no! I formed an unlikely partnership with Kane. Shut your mouth right now! The devil's favorite demon is nothing without the world's toughest vegan! No! No! Kane is one of my favorite people. We almost have the same sense of humor. Daniel Bryan and Kane hugging out tonight. This is the most awkward and weird thing I've ever seen. There we go, yes, yes, they hugged it out. Anger management, I believe, has been a success. We just had a lot of fun. We watch each other's back. Team Hell No Style. We had our first shot at the Tag Team Championships when we faced Kofi Kingston and R-Truth at Night of Champions in 2012. We're in Boston in a building where many great champions have been crowned, and right now, the tag team titles are on the line. The champions, Kofi Kingston and our truth against the unlikely team of Daniel Bryan and Kane. Uh, talk about an odd couple, Michael. With everything we've seen for Bryan and Kane in the past few weeks, I gotta wonder if Dr. Shelby's anger management therapy can turn these two into a cohesive unit. What do you know about therapist Saxton? They've been thrusted into this position while the champions have been centered around their teamwork for the past five months. Kane and Bryan only have anger management in common. I wouldn't call that a building block towards tag team titles. Drop kick. Beautiful. Oof. Drop, Drop kick. It hits the mark. Down with a power bomb. Nightmare take. Oh, big boot. And leading up to this match, a lot of praise was thrown on Kofi and our truth. Kofi being a three-time Intercontinental Champion and both having time as United States Champion. Well, Daniel Bryan has his accolades as well. Of course, Daniel Bryan won the United States Championship at the same pay-per-view two years ago against The Miz. He also went on to win a Money in the Bank and become a World Heavyweight Champion. Set him up. Side Russian leg sweep. Oh, 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 perfect form. Bringing up Daniel Bryan's time as World Heavyweight Champion, he did lose that title in only 18 seconds to Sheamus at WrestleMania. Why? Why do you have to go and bring that up, Saxton? You know Daniel's in a fragile state right now, and you bring up a moment where he was caught off guard and hit by a now outlawed pro kick. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. Look out, he's almost there. If he doesn't make the... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. And a basement drop kick. I need to say, guys, if Daniel Bryan and Kane can work together and win here tonight, Dr. Shelby deserves a Nobel Peace Prize. Well, I hate to burst your bubble, Cole, but I have it on good authority that Dr. Shelby isn't even a certified therapist. My sources on the health board say he dropped out of medical school to visit Tibet on some kind of spiritual excursion. That guy's a fraud. What a strike. Oh, right to the chest.
Oh my God, what a forearm! Right to the jaw. Well, if you're a believer in anger management therapy, then Dr. Shelby has done a great job with Kane and Daniel Bryan. But what if I'm not a believer in anger management therapy? Mind you, therapy from some quack doctor that I'm pretty sure was certified on the internet, if at all. Well, Corey, they are out here trying to work together right now. This is at least some testament to how much of an impact anger management has helped. Since Kofi and R-Truth became allies, they've been on a tear in WWE. They know how to work together as a tag team. Then on the other side of the ring, judging from the last few weeks, Kane and Daniel Bryan are far from being on the same page. Same page? Daniel and Kane aren't even reading the same book. Whereas Kofi and Truth, they're finishing each other's sentences. And look at hung up on the second rope. Oh, look at this aggression. Get in there, ref. We talk about being on the same page, and Truth and Kofi certainly are. And well, wouldn't you think Kane and Daniel Bryan's shared experience in anger management can create a chemistry of sorts. Kofi and Truth have held those titles for five months. You'd be ridiculous to think that trust falls and yelling at kids wearing goat masks for a couple of weeks is going to get you the same kind of chemistry that tag team champions have. Daniel Bryan has so much on his mind right now. He was ballistic at a WWE.com interview. The problem is Daniel Bryan, he's a great competitor, but this crowd constantly distracts him. How can anybody do their work when this is going on? Well, it's absolutely unfair. Bryan has to keep his anger in check while hearing the... The shoulders are down. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Not good for the back and body. Nailed it. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. And our truth evades that one. He might have it. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. We touched on how much is going through Daniel Bryan's head right now. Again, this all started when Daniel Bryan thought the fans were embracing him. And then when he realized they were actually humiliating him by repeating his yes chant, Daniel Bryan just snapped. And that's one of There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Ooh, what impact. I want to see that again. That shit was funny. Skip everything. This stupid shit. The boy. The boy jumped. The boy jumped up for a drop kick. Punched to the stomach. You see? Sit your ass down. Sit your ass down. Harsh impact. What's this? Is that one? That's gonna leave a mark. You know, Byron Kane and Daniel Bryan almost accidentally stumbled into this title opportunity when they defeated the prime time players on last week's Raw. I can tell you it was no accident when Kane delivered a hateful choke slam on Bryan. It just so happened that Daniel landed on their opponent long enough to gain the pinball. I can't foresee that being the outcome against the champions, though. Kane gets tagged in.
So, Michael, let me ask you, did Daniel Bryan's anger management issues begin way back in April at WrestleMania, when Bryan, who was World Heavyweight Champion at the time, lost his title to Sheamus in a record 18 seconds? It's been haunting Daniel Bryan for months. Yes, it did. Listen, Daniel Bryan confessed that WrestleMania was the most embarrassing moment of his whole life, and that's including the time his fiance left him at the altar. Come to think of it, that was this year, too. I can't blame Daniel for feeling some stress. There's a snap. Drop kick with precision. Can we address our truth and little Jimmy, please? If anyone needs Dr. Shelby, it's our truth The guy's seeing things. He's holding ropes to let an imaginary person into the ring. Forget Daniel Bryan and Kane. Someone please help our truth I think our truth is doing just fine. This week, WWE.com had a pictorial about little Jimmy's family. Portraits like little Jimmy and a birthday party hat. Pretty fabulous. And no luck against Kane there. Oh no, we've got a problem here, guys. No kidding, who knows what'll happen next? Cole, I was reaching out to get our truth help for his imaginary delusions, but you're here enabling self-destructive behavior. We know what having imaginary friends well into adulthood can do to a person. We've seen what it's done to Saxton. Well, uh, I would have to refute that, okay? I'm a well-adjusted adult gentleman with many real-world friends, too. <laughs> Thank you very much. Man, they taking too long for me. They need to, they need to tag in our truth. Guys, when the WWE Universe has the power on Monday Night Raw, they can be really nutty. Case in point, a few weeks ago, the WWE Universe voted on social media to have Daniel Bryan and Kane hug it out in the middle of the ring. Yes, folks, hug it out. Uh, yeah, it was not a sight we usually see in a WWE ring. Kane and Daniel appeared to be two people that have never given a hug in their whole... Here we go. Our truth may be a figment of your imagination, but little Jimmy hurts. That could be it, guys. He's looking for the win. And he stops the count. Lucky him. And no luck against Kane there. Nightmare takeover. Oh, oh, what a boot. There's a snap. And a basement drop kick. Look at Kane. It's coming. Is he done? Kobe Kingston is obviously showing concern for our truth as any good tag team partner would. We haven't really been seeing that kind of concern for a partner between Kane and Bryan, however. You know, I have to say, I've seen some progress in Kane and Daniel Bryan's anger management. I don't think they are all the way there, but there's been definite progress. I see it too, Michael. We don't see Daniel screaming in the face of fans anymore. He's keeping his composure pretty well, and Kane, well, Kane is still Kane. There is some deep rooted trouble within that monster. Elbow drop with authority. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Good golly, what a knee. 
In comparing Daniel Bryan and Kane's progress in therapy, I think there are two different cases. Bryan had an emotional breakdown brought on by the WWE Universe, whereas Kane has just been sick and demented since birth. Well, one of those things for sure, they're both off the rocker in my estimation. Great job, Dr. Cole. Well, here comes Daniel Bryan sending Kingston across the ring. And Daniel Bryan looking to put Kobe Kingston away for the tag team titles. Ooh, Kingston's in trouble. The Kane are in Whoa. peril. Wait. The big red machine making the long climb to the top rope. Why did they Bryan want Kane to make the tag? No, not at all. He felt like he was in control. Now Kane is heading up top. It's just a matter of time until this team implodes. We know they can't stand each other. Hey, Kingston. Look at Bryan. Bryan is hanging out to the ankle of Kane. Kingston. Crash and burn. Sorry for the quality, but it's my computer. We're going to end the video right here.